Let's take a look at navigation components starting with the toolbar. Typically, the toolbar displays information and actions relating to the current screen. It's used for branding, screen titles, navigation, and actions. In this video though, we will only focus on how the toolbar can be used as a navbar. Now the first step is to import the material toolbar module in material.module.ts. So in the import statement, add math toolbar module. Also included in the material components array. Now that I think of it, the array name is slightly misleading. So I'm going to replace material components with the name just material. All right, now that we have imported the module, we can use the component in the HTML. So in app.component.html, the component is mat toolbar. Within the toolbar, I'm going to add a span tag that says code evolution. If you now save this and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see a basic toolbar. We can add a color to this toolbar using the color attribute. The color attribute accepts either primary, accent or worn as its value. Let's go with primary. If you head back to the browser, you should be able to see a primary colored toolbar in your application. Now let's see how to convert this basic toolbar into a navbar. A navbar typically consists of the brand title on the left and a group of links on the right. I'm going to convert our span tag into a div tag, which is going to be our brand code evolution. I'm also going to add another div tag with a set of links. I'm going to add three span tags, one for home, one for about, and one for services. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that it doesn't exactly look like a navbar. But all we need is to distribute the space in the toolbar in between the title and the links. So in the CSS, which is app.component.css, I'm going to add a class navbar and specify justify content to be space between. Let me also add some spacing between the span tags. Padding right, one rem. Finally, add the navbar class to the toolbar. So in app.component.html, on the mat toolbar component, class is equal to navbar. Now, if we take a look at the browser, you should have a proper navbar. Brand on the left and a set of links on the right. Now the styling is completely up to you, but a toolbar is what you need to use to create a navbar in Angular Material. In the next video, let's take a look at the side nav component.